Nephron is the structural and functional unit of kidney. It filters the blood and separates the toxic substance urea from it. We will learn to draw the diagram of nephron in this video. For this we will be needing one full page and we will start from the top and slightly towards the left side of the page. Draw a cup shaped structure whose width should be one full line and then double its walls and extend it in the form of a narrow tube like structure. Now this is the tubular part of the nephron which is highly convoluted and twisted. We need to give it a twist now. So at least three twists we will give it. Bring it slightly towards the right side and then take it down to at least seven lines. Now it should go straight down to seven lines minimum. Then give it a U-turn and bring it up again seven lines. Notice these two lines are parallel and the distance between the two lines. I have kept it exactly one centimeter and so should you. It should not be more than one centimeter. For giving the tubular look to this U-shaped part, we will draw two vertical lines all along the length of this U-shaped part. Taking care that the gap between two inner lines still remains one centimeter and the thickness or the width of this tube should be as small as possible. Then complete it from the bottom. After this, this tubular part becomes convoluted so we will we'll give it three twists once again. One more thing we need to take care of here is that the gap between these loops should be large, large enough so that we can easily double them from inside. So all these loops should have large gaps in between. Now we'll start doubling these, this convoluted tubular part also. We will start from this side. Make it double now very slowly, taking care that the thickness of this tube remains uniform throughout. It has to be done very slowly so that the diagram remains neat and the uniformity also remains in the tubular part. This tubular part is bringing urine and it will pour the urine into the collecting duct. So we will make the collecting duct here. Other nephrons will also pour their urine in the same collecting duct. So we will show the entry of other nephrons also and darken this collecting duct. So we have completed with the basic structure of nephron. Now we need to draw the blood vessels that surround the nephron. Branch of renal artery will enter into this cup shaped structure and will divide into a bunch of capillaries called as glomerulus. So here we will show this glomerulus and give it the look of the capillaries. Inside the glomerulus blood is flowing under high pressure and the walls of glomerulus are very thin. So ultrafiltration will occur and urea will come out of the blood. But along with urea, other substances like glucose, amino acids, water and salts, they will also come out into this Bowman's capsule in the form of glomerular filtrate. These capillaries will then rejoin and they will come out from this side and up till here. Now as I have just told you that useful substances have come out into this Bowman's capsule so they will enter here and they will be reabsorbed by this tubular part of the nephron and for reabsorbing they need blood vessels above them. Now we will divide this blood vessel into branches that will surround both these convoluted parts. We will now bring this blood vessel here. And first of all, we will take out a branch from here, this one, which will go parallel to this twisted part. First of all, we will make this branch. And from this branch, we will now take out three branches, which will pass over three loops. And then join the other side of these branches with each other. So now we have spread the blood vessels on this part of the convoluted tube. First, now we will darken the convoluted tube from behind and after that we will darken the blood vessels also. Same thing we will be doing on the other side also but first we will darken these loops and then we will bring the blood vessel from here. Draw a blood vessel or a line which is parallel to this twisted part first of all. 
and after that we will take out again three branches passing over each loop and join it from the other end now we will again dark these blood vessels but while we are darkening them we will make them slightly thicker also so we have spread blood vessels over the convoluted parts of the nephron now this these blood vessels need to be spread over loop of henle also because loop of henle plays a very important role in the reabsorption of water and salts from the glomerular filtrate we will start from here this end we'll take the blood vessel from here and spread it over the loop of henle but for that first of all we will draw two lines two vertical lines parallel to this u shaped part on each side and the distance of these lines from this loop of henle should not be more than half centimeter and then we will also draw a central line exactly in the center of the loop of henle we have drawn this line this line will provide symmetry to the diagram now for the spread we will first start a tube from the right hand side up to up till the central line then we will start a tube from left side up to the central line then from here up till the central line so we will draw alternate tube like structures starting from each line so i have drawn all along the length these tube like structures now these tube like structures will bifurcate into two on the other side so this will bifurcate into two on this side this will bifurcate on this side and so on so we have bifurcated all of them or divided all of them into further branches we will darken them also all of them for darkening the sides we will turn our pages and darken both these sides also and take out this blood vessel from here which will be now the renal vein so this blood vessel comes out in the form of renal vein we can see that our loop of henle has become very light now we will make it also dark taking care that its thickness remains uniform throughout we are almost there now we have reached the labeling part for labeling we will first draw horizontal lines for all those parts that we need to label normally we do labeling on the right hand side but in this diagram most of the parts that need to be labeled are on the left side so we will be labeling on left side also this is the renal artery this is the bunch of capillaries called as glomerulus cup shaped part called as bowman's capsule this is tubular part of the nephron called as pct after that there is renal vein capillaries that surround loop of henle this is loop of henle this is the second tubular part of the nephron called as dct and collecting duct which collects the urine and pass it on to urinary bladder now pct is the first convoluted part called as proximal convoluted tubule of nephron dct is the second convoluted part called as distal convoluted tubule so these are the two convoluted parts of the nephron and with this our diagram is completed you need to practice the diagram at least 2 3 times for better results